Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bedroom clean with me slash closet organization video slash drawer organization video. And I'm gonna try to do the Kanmari method of folding and organizing all of our clothes. We just have a lot of clothes and so I need to get everything situated. I need to clean up our room first because anytime you're doing a big organization project, the last thing you wanna do is pull everything out on top of a mess. So I have our new bed frame here and I just need to screw in the um, slat, what are they, slate? Whatever it's called. I need to screw in the slats, slats. Why can I not think of the word? Whatever that word is. I need to finish the bed frame. And then actually this bed frame, you actually, this bed frame, you do not need a box spring. So I need this box spring out and I just have so much I need to accomplish, but I need the box spring out. I'm going to make the bed, pick up our room a little bit. I showed you guys in a video before, but I actually refinished our dresser. We were going to get a new one, but I figured let's save a little bit of money and I just refinished it. And so I have to go ahead and sand the holes that I had to fill and then I'm going to repaint over those. I just have so much I want to do. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Max, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did the friend come from? Oh, that's a friend. Oh, Max loves his mommy. Say hi. Say hi. He just like is a human. This is my other favorite human. <laughs> okay, so while Matt, Matt tortures the house, I'm gonna get started. In the shadows of where we have been, sleeping with your back, facing me. So this is the closet that we're going to tackle today. I need to go through everything and make sure that things still fit us, that we're still wearing the items that we have in the closet and that nothing is destroyed. So I always say this, but the first step to any organization project is to take everything out. So I am going to take everything out of the closet and then you'll see here, I actually decided to switch around the layout of the closet of the closet system because I felt like we needed another clothing rod and I also wanted to put a shelf across the top of the closet system just to give us more storage space. So the shelf that I got to put across the top of the closet did not fit. It was a little bit short, so I made it work. It's not the end of the world. Um, it does drive me a little bit crazy because 
of my slight OCD, but really it got the job done and it's serving the purpose that I originally wanted it to. I need to organize this nightmare and then I just have crap everywhere. These clothes are dirty. So this mess is wonderful and I'm gonna start going piece by piece and organizing everything. So when you're doing the Kamari cleaning method, one of the most important things to do is go through every single item and see if it sparks joy. And I know this sounds crazy for some people, but if you're you have to touch the item and if it sparks joy, then you keep it and if it doesn't. Um, another tip that I like to follow is if I haven't worn something in a year, it has to be donated because it's just taking up space. It's creating clutter like back here and clutter triggers anxiety for me. I just can't focus. I can't tolerate it. So if you're going through your closet and you haven't worn something in a year, you're not going to wear it. Trust me, you're not going to. You need to get rid of it. And you'll thank me later because not only will your massive laundry pile go down like this one over here, but you'll have more space to be able to see everything you have in your closet. And there's nothing I love more than eliminating clutter. So I'm going to go through each piece of clothing and if it doesn't spark joy or I haven't worn it in a year or if it's destroyed, which is kind of funny, but it's, I mean, if something's ripped and I've been getting it fixed for the past six months, chances are I'm not gonna get it fixed or I'm not gonna fix it myself, so it needs to go. So with those three tips in mind, I'm gonna get started because it's approaching dinner time and I need to get this mess cleared away. So as previously mentioned, I'm just going through every item piece by piece I'm creating different piles I have a pile of clothes to donate a pile of clothes to get rid of and then I had a pile of clothes to keep and the pile of clothes to keep if it wasn't being hung up I was gonna fold it and put it in the drawers <music> So my bathing suit situation has always looked like the bin, the green bin, because I always just throw bathing suits in a drawer. So I decided to fold them my version of the Kamari way so that I could see all my bathing suits and I'm really excited with how it turned out and I put this bin at the top of the closet on the new shelf. So once all the clothes were gone through, you'll see here I'm just putting everything back. Brick has a lot of sweatshirts and sweatpants, so he takes up majority of the space through the middle of the closet on the shelves. And so I'm just going through everything and making it nice and neat. And then after I go through the sweatshirts and sweatpants, I'm going to go through my shoes and his shoes to get rid of things that no longer are holding up or no longer fit and to change around how I have everything stored so everything's just clean and organized. So my side of the closet, I always color coordinate. Brick side of the closet, I organize it by styles. So I have all of his work shirts, his dress shirts, his polos, and then just miscellaneous items. He's not gonna keep his clothes coordinated, let's be real, but I just found that it's easier for him to find his items when I organize them the way that I did. My bottom drawer is a nightmare. This is where I keep all my workout leggings and my shorts. So you'll see here, I'm going to fold my workout leggings the Kamari way and 
for me, I love how it turned out, but I think the hardest part, because I've been folding my clothes the same way forever and ever and ever, is just going to be when I'm washing the laundry and taking out of the dryer to remember to fold these items this way. But it really is simple. <laughs> such a hard time folding my workout tops. I have several of them. They're from Lululemon and they're my favorite. They have the built-in bra and then the tank top over it. Um, but they're so difficult to fold. So I'm gonna try to fold these the best that I can um, with the Kamari method in mind and try to store them next, hi. Try to store them next to my workout leggings. So we'll see how this goes because usually I just like roll them up and put them in the drawer because they're such a pain in the butt to fold but I really want to keep my drawers more organized and so I'm going to try the Kamari method on these tank tops and hopefully it turns out the way that I'm hoping. Right? Yeah. And Kamari fold mats. Kamari fold mats. Do you have fun? Good boy. That's a good boy. High five. Sit. Sit. High five. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let me. Pulling your feet on the dance floor. My recommendation for you guys is to fold on your bed or on a table. After folding on the floor for a little while, my back really started to hurt so I moved over to the bed and the process just went way quicker because I wasn't hunched over and in pain. So don't mind me, I'm just playing with Max because he always wants to be where his mommy is. So I always play with him and just do silly things with him because he's my baby. Here I'm just continuing to fold all my tank tops and I'm going to put them in this storage container. I got these clear-ish storage containers from Target. I don't remember how much they were but they really they were really inexpensive so I'm folding all my tank tops and putting them in this bin here.
my lounge shorts are also going to go in this drawer. I need one more container to complete the look, but I haven't grabbed it yet. So once I get that second container, I will put all of my shorts in the container where I'm just placing them in the drawer here. And look how pretty it turned out. I'm obsessed. So normally I take my socks and I try to always make my socks because it drives me crazy when I can't just grab a pair. But the Marie Kondo way is to fold them in half. So you'll see here that I'm going to go through and organize all my socks. I got rid of a bunch of socks that were just old and dingy. Some of them may have even had holes in them. And then this way you can just see all of your socks. So next I'm moving on to my t-shirts. I have some fancier t-shirts, <laughs> not really fancy, but some that I deem presentable to go out in public in. And then I have some that I just sleep in. I'm not a big pajama girl. Maybe that'll change one day, but I love sleeping in oversized t-shirts. So I'm just going to fold these shirts the Kanmari way so that I can store them all in the drawer and it really is easier you guys because you can see everything you have in your drawer when you're storing it vertically versus when you're piling things on top and then your clothes are more likely to get messed up and unorganized in your drawer because you're digging through them looking for a specific shirt or bottom. So that is it you guys that is everything aside from my jewelry there I clearly did not organize that but I am so excited with how everything turned out my drawers just feel nice and refreshed and so does my closet and so that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time that I upload a video and again thank you guys so much for your support 